Yeah, come Monday, five major parks in Jersey City will reopen. Social distancing will be strictly enforced, but it'll give people an outlet to get some exercise and fresh air. The reality is that people need uh, outlets for mental health, for stability. With the warm weather, Jersey City Mayor Steve Phillips says people need to get outside. He says in urban areas like this, it's hard to maintain social distancing when you're limited to sidewalks. So on Monday, five major Jersey City parks will reopen from dawn to dusk. They include Enos Jones Parks, Berry Lane, Audubon, Leonard Gordon Park, and Pershing Field. It's not realistic to ask people to stay inside while the weather changes, while the weather gets warmer, and uh, you know it's better to do it in a controlled environment than having people break the rules and venturing out into parks that don't have um, you know, policies in place. So we think this is a responsible way to get to a place that we're gradually opening our parks. Fulop says he didn't coordinate with the state on the opening of the parks, but says he did with his city's health department. Governor Murphy says social distancing is still vitally important. We are not out of the woods yet. We are not home, folks. So please, particularly on a day as beautiful as this, stay the course. Playgrounds and parks will remain closed, as will dog runs. Dogs, however, will be allowed as long as they are leashed and cleaned up after. Contact sports will not be allowed. Just open areas to walk, run, and exercise. Face coverings will also be required, and the city will hand out masks for people to use. The amount of people entering the park will also be limited. We want to make sure that we have enough personnel to man those parks to make sure that people are practicing social distancing, but at the same time, we want to gradually open the parks to get back to whatever that new normal will be. Mayor Phillip says if everything goes well, they'll look to reopen more parks in mid-May. At Berry Lane Park in Jersey City, Rob Hoyle, Pix 11 News.